Hello guys, welcome to Home IO video lesson. In this lesson, we are going to control the Home IO using Ellen Bradley PLC. All right, this Home IO environment, we are going to control that using our Ellen Bradley PLC. Okay, in that case, we will be using a later logic example over here. All right, so how to control that? What is the inter uh, interface between the PLC and the Home IO? For that, we are using this DAC card. This is the DAC card which is connected to Ellen Bradley Micrologist 1400. All right. Now, now, in this DAC card, we are getting some signals. So let's open the connect IO. Now, this is the connect IO DAC card 4750. This is a digital DAC card we are using. All right. So now, if you see here, it says ID 0 to ID 015. These are the outputs of DAC cards. All right. So the, here, the, uh, the thing which you need to understand is the output of PLC, the PLC output which will be on in the Ellen Bradley software, this will be reflected in the input of that card. Okay, because the output wiring of PLC is going to the input. So here we'll be getting the signal which is coming to the input of that card. Alright, this is this is how this is being made. And the signal which will go to the out which we will give to the output of this DAC card, like output segment over here. This will go to the input input of PLC, inputs of PLC. So just want to explain you how does it work. Let me just connect the dummy variables. So I'll take a source bit first to turn on the stack card. Then I'll take another bit just to show you how does it work. I'll connect to ID OI 0 All right. Now I need one more source bit for invert operation. let me just run that so this is running and let me turn on this stacker now my input are like high already I have to inverse this input so I'll just connect this bit over here IDI and I'll just invert this okay now if I turn on this bit ID 0 have a look here right now if you see the output table the input table 0 right this is off now if I turn on this bit here this ODO ID 0 this is connected to my eighth input let me go to online mode yeah now let me see that you see this eighth input is high this is high because my home IO ID 0 is high if I turn it off then this will be off can see over there see this 8 status this is getting on off by this bit if I connect this to ID IDOI then this will be 8 and 9 so my 8 and 9 number PLC input wiring is going to ID 0 and ID 1 of my DAC card if you see this diagram if you see its catalog you'll find the diagram figures all right so let me just close that now Okay, so this was turning on 8 and 9. Now, this is how my input output are interface between connect IO and PLC. Now, PLC output O0 is on, O, o colon 0 slash 0. That's why ID I0 is on. This is the relation. Okay, this is on because this PLC output is on. So, if you see the output table, and if I turn on this bit, this output is off. So, in my connect IO, this output is off right so now let's make a logic in the home IO so in home IO we are going to use the skate logic so this is already activated so let me go back to connect IO and make some logic here so let me turn this off first I don't need this here okay so this should be in the middle now I need to turn on the outputs using later logic. Okay, so I have an output gate close and let's take one more gate open. Okay. We can connect this gate open to ID 0 this one. Okay, and gate close to ID 01. Like this. And the feedback of the sensors which says it's opened and the one which says it closed this we can give over there okay, let's connect like this 
um, the open feedback can be given to IDOI like that so we have two outputs and two feedbacks coming here okay now I want to turn on this gate using bits bits inside the PLC okay so let's make a logic here Go to offline okay now the logic says if I turn on a bit let me take b3 colon 0 slash 0 this is internal bit I'm taking myself so let's use this bit to latch the open operation open operation of the gate okay so for the open operation the output is o colon 0 slash 0 which is connected to id i0 so I'll latch an output o colon 0 slash 0 press enter this says gate open okay this has been latched when the gate is 100% open then this should be unlatched all right so I'll take the feedback or we can also use the sensors of the home IO if you want you can use the sensors as well all right but let's take just the bit as of now now because I'm just explaining you how to interface that otherwise you can make as many logic according to yourself so the feedback is going to gate open is going to 9 bit number 9 okay ninth input so it says i column 0 slash 9 this is gate opened now this should unlatch this gate open like that okay now if I have to close the gate I'll take another bit e3 column 0 slash 1 with this let me latch the close operation which is o colon 0 slash 1 and the feedback comes at sensor 8 Gate closed. This will go. This is going to unlatch this bit. Okay, this is the PLC logic. Let's download this one. This so this has been downloaded. Now let me just scale that for you. So the current situation is gate is opened. Let's have no IO here. Gate is hundred percent open. And let me just show you this all together. Now if I run this bit to gate close, this bit here, toggle this bit, this has slashed the close operation of the gate. And when the gate is 100% closed, this will be unlatched. Like this. Okay. Let me just have some more illumination. Let's go to the morning 8 o'clock. So this PLC letter logic, which you can see here, has been linked with Home IO via a DAC card. Alright. This is one of the greatest applications of Home IO and Connect IO. So now let's see again. Let's open the gate again. This can be done by using this bit, v3 colon 0. Or we can have a very good another angle. Yes, this is better. So when I run this bit once, you can have a push button also from the external source. And I close this bit. The gate will be fully open. Like this. Okay. So to close the gate, I'll again turn on the close bit is it yes this is the gate close gate close bit if I toggle this bit it will start closing the gate and it will stop closing when this gate sensor is on this will unlatch this gate so that's how you can control your home IO using Ellen Bradley PLC or any other PLC if you have you can connect your Siemens you can connect Mitsubishi Delta any PLC of your choice you can connect to the DAC card and then you can get the signals in ConnectIO. Using that, you can simulate this home IO environment using ConnectIO and that card. So that was the activity which I want to explain in this video, that you can do so many things with 
that card like you can control the home io with your arduino with microcontroller with external buttons with relays with plc's so flexibility is enormous all right so if you have any query regarding this uh, interfacing you can post a comment or you can write me back to me all right thank you so much